Hey, what is up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to do CMYK color separation in Photoshop for screen printing. Also, I'm going to give you my complete halftones action set for free, which you can use to create halftones in Photoshop very easily. This is the image that we are going to do CMYK color separation. And this is our final result. First, I'll show you how to prepare the image for screen printing, then enhance the colors in the image, then do CMYK separation, and then convert it to halftones, and finally add registration marks for flim printouts. So let's dive right into the video. I have given the website link from where I have downloaded this image. Download and open the image in Photoshop. This image has a lot of colors and is perfect for a CMYK print. Let us assume we will print this on a white color t-shirt. Download my free halftone action set. I have given the download link in the description. Just go to windows and choose actions and open the actions panel. Go to the Actions options and choose Load Actions and load the downloaded actions in the Actions panel. Make sure you have the button mode turned on. The first thing that we need to do is change the background layer to your normal layer. To do that, click the Rename layer to artwork. Now the next thing we need to do is set the print size and resolution. So to do that, click the Set the Resolution action. Since we are resizing a photographic image, it is best to set the resample option to automatic. Make sure to set the resolution to 300 dpi and now set the print width you need. Make sure the link icon is checked. I'll set with 15 centimeters. The height value will change automatically proportionate to the width value we entered. Now click OK. Now let's increase the canvas size to add space for registration marks. Run the action, increase canvas size. I have set the canvas size to increase 2 inches in width and 2 inches in height so that we have 1 inch space on all the 4 sides to add registration marks later. Click OK. Let's create a new layer. Let's fill it with white by going to edit, fill and then choose white and then click OK. Now bring it to the back. Now choose both the layers in the layers panel. Now go to layer and then choose merge layers. Now let's enhance the colors in this image. First let's do a levels adjustment to correct the white and black levels in the image. To do that go to image adjustments and then choose levels. This is the shadow slider. This is the midpoint slider and this is the highlight slider. Let's drag the shadow slider a little bit to the right to make the blacks in the image more black. Don't drag too far, just move it only slightly. Now let's drag the highlight slider a little bit to the left to make the whites more white. Now let's brighten up the midtones a bit by moving the midtone slider to the left a little bit. This has brightened up the image. Let's see the preview. Looks good. Let's apply the levels adjustment. Now let's enhance the colors in this image. To do that, go to image, adjustments and then choose vibrance. Increase the vibrance to bring out the colors in this image. I'll increase till 52. Don't overdo it. Do only till the colors pop up. So I'll set this to 50. Looks good. Let's see the before and after. You can see the colors are becoming more vibrant. I'll apply the vibrance. Now let's do the CMYK separation. CMYK separations are the easiest separations to do. All you need to do is go to image, mode and then choose CMYK color. Click OK. Just look at the image carefully. I'll undo now. Just look here. Now we are in RGB mode. Just look here. Now I'll redo. See, there's a color shift here. There will always be some color shift in the image as all the vibrant colors in the RGB mode cannot be produced in the CMYK mode. Now look at the channels panel. These are our CMYK separations. Let's check the channels. Cyan, magenta and yellow mix and produce all the colors in the image. The black color here is the key color. 
and when mixed with the cyan magenta and yellow colors it helps to produce the darker shades of those colors let's run the make t-shirt color channel double click the channel and change the color to white make sure the rgb values are 255 255 and 255 and click ok we got our t-shirt color channel the print order for cmyk is first yellow then magenta then cyan and then black so choose the yellow channel right click and then choose duplicate channel click ok now double click the channel change the channel to spot colored channel and now change the solidity to 0% and choose the color in the CMYK values set Y value to 100 and all other values to 0 now click OK now we got our yellow channel now let's duplicate the magenta right click then choose duplicate channel double click choose spot color change the solidity to 0% click the color make the magenta value 100 and all other values 0 click OK now we got our magenta channel you see when magenta and yellow are mixed red color is produced now duplicate the cyan right click choose duplicate channel click OK double click the channel change it to spot color Set the solidity to 0%, click on the color, make this C value 100, dollar value 0, click OK, OK. Now we got the cyan, magenta and yellow. Now let's duplicate the black channel, right click, choose duplicate channel, click OK, double click the channel, change it to spot color, set the solidity to 0, choose the color. Set the K value to 100 and all other values to 0. Click OK. Now we got our black channel. So I'll turn on one by one. So this is the t-shirt color, which is white color. Next is yellow. Next is magenta. Next is cyan. And then finally black. We got the CMYK spot channels, which are our CMYK separations. Now if you want to save, save this document as a PSD. Now let's see how to convert the channels to half tones. I'll duplicate the document by going to image and then duplicate. Click OK. Now we need to increase the image resolution so that we get nice and round half tone dots. I'll click the set the resolution action. Since we are only changing the resolution, we can have the resample option to nearest neighbor. Just change the resolution. I'll change to 600 dpi. You can go as high as 1200 dpi. I'll set 600 and click OK. I'll turn on only the yellow channel. Now run the make half tones from channel action. Make sure the input and output resolutions are the same. I'll change the output to 600 and click OK. I'll set the frequency 45. And now since this is a yellow channel, the angle should be 0 degrees, click OK. Now we got our yellow half tone. I'll turn on the t shirt, turn on the yellow channel, I'll zoom in. See, we got our half tones. I'll rename the channel to yellow half tones. Now choose the magenta channel and run the same action make half tones from channel. Set the output resolution same as the input resolution and click OK. The angle for magenta is 75 degrees. Click OK. We got our magenta half tones. I'll rename the channel to magenta half tones. Now the same way, I'll convert the cyan channel to half tones. Run the make half tones from channel. I'll set 600. Click OK. The angle for cyan is 15 degrees. Now we got the cyan half tones. I rename the channel to cyan half tones. Finally, turn on the black channel. 
run the make half tones from channel set the resolution to 600 okay now the angle for black channel is 45 degrees click ok rename the channel to black half tones now i will turn on all the spot channels i'll zoom in you can see our half tones formed a rosette pattern pleasing to the eye this is our cmyk half tone preview if you want to see a more accurate preview just select all the cmyk color channels in the channels panel and go to filter blur and then choose gaussian blur i'll set the radius to 2 pixels and apply the blur i'll zoom in now the dots have merged and give a more accurate preview of our result i'll zoom out i'll hit ctrl plus z and undo the blur i did on the channels so we have done our cmyk separation now let's see how to add registration marks for flim printouts we cannot print channels directly from photoshop we need to convert the channels to layers for printouts now if you want to save just save this file i'll choose image and then duplicate click ok first let's convert the mode to grayscale as we don't need the original cmyk channels i'll go to image mode and then choose grayscale discard the color information first choose the yellow channel and then run the action channel to layer rename the layer to yellow now select the magenta channel and run channel to layer rename the layer to magenta the same way select the cyan channel run channel to layer rename the layer to cyan choose black run channel to layer call it black we don't need the t-shirt color channel we can delete it we can delete the artwork layer as well now go to file open and then choose the registration mark file i have given the download link in the description make sure to set the resolution the same as your document resolution anti-aliasing should be off and now click ok Use the move tool and drag the registration mark to our document. Just bring it to the top. Hit Ctrl plus A to select the canvas. Now use the alignment options to align the registration mark to the center and then to the top. I'll zoom out a bit. Now duplicate the layer. Now choose the align bottom to align the registration mark to the bottom. Now let's deselect the selection by hitting Ctrl plus D. Now select both the registration marks layer in the layers panel. Right click and then choose group from layers. I'll call it registration marks. Click OK. Now choose the type tool. I'll type color 1 of 4 yellow make sure the text color is set to the darkest black the rgb values should read 000 click ok i'll align it properly with the registration mark now i'll duplicate this text layer Rename the layer to color 2 of 4 magenta. Next, rename the text layer for cyan. And finally, rename the layer to 4 of 4 black. Now if I were to print this out, I'll first choose the yellow layer, turn on the registration marks 
and then turn on the text layer for yellow print it out and then to print magenta I'll turn on the magenta layer turn on the text layer for magenta print it out the same way to print cyan I'll turn on the cyan layer and then the text layer for cyan print it out the same way I'll print black as well if you want to know how to save the files as PDFs with the correct settings so that you can share them with others I have made a separate video for that video link in the description be sure to watch the video so in this video I showed you how to do CMYK color separation in Photoshop for screen printing also I gave you my halftone action set which you can use to create halftones very easily in Photoshop hope you find this video helpful if you have any questions leave a comment in the comment section and I'll be happy to help Thanks guys, I'll see you in another video, take care.